Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Microsoft has just stated in an open letter that Chat GPT-4 is the first spark of AGI. And we have seen the internet boom with cool and scary stuff GPT can already do. But the cost of training an AI language model has come down so much that you and I can afford it. Opening AI up for everyone, cost is no longer holding it back. So the rapid advancements of AI right now is why Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak and many other experts on AI are now calling for a stop of all giant experiments with AI systems by signing an open letter from the Future of Life Institute. Because we might have lighted the first little spark of AGI. So we need to know how to control this before this spark catches fire. So let's check out those two open letters and how the cost of training an AI has come down to levels not even ARK Invest thought possible before the end of this decade. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So let's start not with GPT, but another breakthrough we have just had a breakthrough in the cost of training an AI system. Because that came from Stanford with their alpaca language model, which was trained by using other existing language models. Although not comparable with ChatGPT4, the cost reduction they saw was still insane. To train a model like GPT did cost in the ballpark of $4 million, but it only costed $600 to train alpaca. ARK Invest is possibly some of the most bullish on the AI industry and tried to predict when a price reduction like this would take place. And in their 2022 big ideas, they predicted that the price would drop to $740,000 in 2022, but it ended up being $450,000. A 70% drop in cost per year, faster than the bullish prediction from ARK Invest of 60%. And now we are already talking about a couple of hundred dollars here in 2023. No one saw this coming before the end of this decade, as we can see with ARK Invest chart here. 600 bucks to train a language model. Now the brakes of training AI has truly come off. And together with GPT-4's capabilities, this is all going way faster than anyone was expecting. Just as we have seen with all other AI systems through the years, it was decades or more faster to do what some people even thought was impossible. Like when the world champion in chess got beaten by an AI system and said, it's like it's not calculating, but thinking. But that AI was mostly calculating. But I think it's hard to argue against GPT-4 not thinking. But now it's going so fast that not only Elon Musk, but the Future of Life Institute have made an open letter to pause giant AI experiments. As they wrote, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI system more powerful than GPT-4. The letter signed by more than a thousand people, including Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, called for a pause on advanced AI development until shared safety protocols for such designs were developed, implemented and audited by independent experts. Powerful AI systems should be developed only once we are confident that their effect will be positive and their risk will be manageable, the letter said. The letter detailed potential risk to society and civilization by human competitive AI system in the form of economic and political disruptions and called on developers to work with policymakers on governance and regulatory authorities. As Elon Musk has wanted for many 
years. A professor at New York University who signed the letter but also said about it, the letter isn't perfect, but the spirit is right. We need to slow down until we better understand the ramification. They can cause serious harm. The big players are becoming increasingly secretive about what they're doing, which makes it hard for society to defend against whatever harm may materialize. So what Elon Musk has been warning about for the better half of a decade seems to start making other institute a bit worried as JetTPT4 showed off a spark of artificial general intelligence, as Microsoft put it in their open letter. As they wrote, we demonstrated that beyond its mystery of language, GPT-4 can solve novel and difficult tasks that span mathematics, coding, vision, medicine, law, physiology, and more without needing any special prompting. Moreover, in all of these tasks, GPT-4 performance is strikingly close to human-level performance and often vastly surpass prior models such as ChatGPT. Given the breadth and depth of GPT-4's capabilities, we believe that it could reasonably be viewed as an early, yet still incomplete, version of an artificial general intelligent system. So Microsoft even think this is the first steps towards AGI. But they are one of the biggest institutes that are pushing hard for this and being very secretive about it, as they have invested in OpenAI that was founded by Elon Musk as a non-profit company to make sure everyone had access to AI and it didn't end up in the hands of a few powerful companies. But OpenAI has become the exact opposite a closed company with big profits and has partnered up with one of the biggest tech companies in the world. And the progress we see with GPT from the version 3 to version 4 is so big it's even hard to understand. And that was in the span of less than 3 years. GPT-3 came out in May of 2020 and now in the beginning of 2023 we have a GTP-4 blowing our minds with its scary intelligence. So if we don't slow this exponential learning down, what do you think GPT would be able to do in another two, six years? The exponential learning curve we see from AI system in general, GPT has just started climbing up the very steep part of that curve and is already above human intelligence in many areas. As it can do mathematics, coding, vision, medicine, law, physiology, understanding and create pictures and videos out of nothing and even understand humor like this picture of Obama that Andrew Capathy used as an example a decade ago because it's actually quite complicated to understand for a machine what is going on. But GPT-4 gets it. Not many humans are able to do all what I just described, but of course, in some areas, it can sometimes seem a little dumb. But the knowledge it has is beyond any human. But it will learn faster than any human will ever be able to do. And that is what we need to slow down, as it has come close to human intelligence, or surpassed in many areas, so from here on out, it will get to superhuman level quickly. And we just don't know what will happen or know how to control an AGI system that is smarter than us. And now we are maybe seeing the first spark of AGI. So we need to be able to handle real AGI before we get to that point. And we have learned from experience that this will happen decades faster than we expect. So I personally think it's a very good idea to slow things down down and not have Microsoft and Google making a race towards AGI as we kind of see right now without them having any clue of how to control it. And with the cost of training these language models becoming only a couple of hundred dollars, something most people would be able to afford, this could speed up everything. As cost is no longer holding back AI training. Only a couple of years ago, it was something only for companies with big pockets. Now, you and I can afford training an AI language model. And because of the small size of Stanford's alpaca language model, it could be run on a local computer. 
So not hard to imagine that we will, in a couple of years, be able to have a language model running locally on our smartphones. So now nothing is holding back AI's learning. So the only question is how fast will it be able to learn? And as we know, we usually underestimate that. So are we truly ready for AGI within the next 10 years? I think it's time to work on how to regulate and control this new intelligence we are creating before we go any further and get to the point of no return. The AI we have now, like ChatGPT4, can already help us tremendously with coding, writing, with medicine and knowledge. We are truly going from the age of information to the age of knowledge. So let's enjoy the cool things the AI ChatGPT4 can do and help us with while we slow down the race for AGI. It will come fast enough. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>